Bourne. I'm here at RWA in New York talking to Nalini Singh about her new novel, Archangel's Blade, which is a book in the Guild Hunter series. So, thank you for talking to me today. Thanks for inviting me. Yeah. Well, first, could you just tell me a little bit about the series and the hierarchy of the creatures in the books? Um, we've got their angels, archangels, vampires, hunters. And who reports to who? Okay, so it's a it's an alternate reality, and we've got the archangels, and they rule the world. Um, and they're called the cadre of ten. So the ten archangels that rule the world, and they're they're all powerful, basically. You know, they they have been alive thousands of years, and they're very inhuman, because as you would be, you know, with that much power and that kind of age. And then below them are the angels. And then you have the vampires, and vampires are created by angels um, from mortals, mm -hmm. and in return for the gift of near immortality, um, they sign on to serve the angels for a hundred years. But quite often, you know, they find the service not to their liking, and so they try and run away and, and hide, and then this is where the guild hunters come in, um, and these are specially trained humans. Um, and some of them are a little bit more than human, but you know, they can be killed like humans mm -hmm. basically. So they are human in that sense. And um, their job is not to kill the, the vampires who have run away. The guild hunters retrieve vampires. So their mm -hmm. job is to um, find these runaways and return them back to the angels. The only time they would kill is if a vampire was in bloodlust, where they had completely given in to the, the craving for blood and they were basically murdering you know, people. Mm -hmm. And so that's the basic hierarchy, but it's not as clear cut as that because, you know, some vampires are extremely powerful. They've been around for thousands of years. And so, for example, you've got Dimitri in the books, who is Raphael's second. You know, like, he is basically the person Raphael trusts the most in his, in his um, you know, in the hierarchy uh, of the people in the tower. So he's incredibly powerful. He is more powerful than most of the angels. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, there are subtleties in, within the hierarchy mm -hmm. as well. Well, much of the tension in the plot in Archangel's Blade is this relationship between Dimitri, the powerful vampire, and Honor, yes. who is a hunter. Yes. And just reading it, I thought it was very exciting, and the tension is really... Um, building um, for them. They're kind of working together and then their the romance follows. But could you tell me a little bit about how you developed their relationship and why do you think their chemistry works so well? So well, the interesting yeah. thing with Dimitri is, um, you know, he's got this amazing backstory, you know, which mm -hmm. is revealed in the book. And the thing is, I kind of knew that from the very first book. And so I've had it in my mind for the three previous books. And so I think by the time I sat down to write it, I knew these two just really, really well mm -hmm. because they'd been living in my mind for so long. Mm -hmm. And um, from the first, you know, there was just this intense, intense chemistry and, and tension mm -hmm. between them. The instance they stepped onto the page, and I, I think it's just because sometimes you get characters who are just perfect, mm -hmm. who are just perfect um, protagonists against each other and, and for each other. Mm -hmm. And so. Um, I think they balance each other out, but at the same time they challenge each other, which is, mm -hmm. which is I think, part of how they work so well. Mm -hmm. Well, you have written a lot of different novels in different subgenres. You, you have your Side Changeling series, and you have the Guild Hunter books, you've written contemporaries. Do you have a favorite subgenre within romance to, to write and also to read, or do you just kind of follow the story? Um, well, paranormal, paranormal mm -hmm. and you know urban fantasy romance. I, I just really feel like my voice fits, mm -hmm. you know, at, at this stage of my career. The way, the reason I said is because I think writers develop, and so maybe mm -hmm. ten years from now I might find that I fit another subgenre mm -hmm. um, better. But right now, you know, I love, I love paranormal. I love the freedom of it mm -hmm. because it's just such a wide canvas. Mm -hmm. As long as you follow the rules of your own world. You can break all kinds of rules of our world mm -hmm. um, well, as long as you know that you maintain that internal mm -hmm. continuity. And so I just truly, truly love you know writing in the paranormal world. Mm -hmm. And particularly with series, I love being able to build the world and the characters through a number of books, mm -hmm. so that you're not just having this flat construct. You're having something that is organic, mm -hmm. and you know the world itself is, is changing. Um, because of events, you know, have consequences, and so I love that. 
and as a reader, um, I read paranormal, you know, mm -hmm. as well, but I read very widely. I read mm -hmm. everything from thrillers to fantasy to science fiction to all the subgenres of romance. Mm -hmm. I read a lot of historicals, contemporaries, you know, so I think I think that's really good for me as a writer because I'm seeing all these different voices and um, all these different kinds of stories, mm -hmm. you know, which is, which is wonderful. Mm -hmm. Well, what are you, what is up next for you? Next, uh, publishing wise. Mm -hmm. um, so, my next release is Archangel's Blade, mm -hmm. which is uh, Dimitri's story. And, you know, it is very dark. It's a dark story, but I, I think it's also very intensely romantic. Mm -hmm. I think it is a truly romantic story. And, um, you know, I hope readers uh, feel that way too. And then in October, we have um, Angels of Darkness, which features a novella. Uh, by me, um, and that features Noel. Uh, mm -hmm. He is a vampire who was badly attacked and beaten in Archangel's Kiss, and um, it's like, is he broken? You know, will he recover from what mm -hmm. was done to him? And um, it's got an angel that uh, you haven't previously met, and uh, you know, she's very powerful and uh, very mysterious and very dangerous. So, I'm um, really looking forward to that. And then, um, and then, writing wise, I'm working on the next side change book. Mm -hmm. yes. Well, thank you so much for talking to me and book page readers, Nalini, and we will I will tell them to look out for Archangel's Blade, which is out in September. Yes, so thank you. Thank you.